Everyone dreams to have a stable financial life. The problem arises when the dreamers are more than the planners. Most of us would have spent a lot in our 20s or wouldn't have felt the need to save. It's when our late 30s or 40s seem to be nearing we start worrying about saving for our future. If you fall anywhere between this category, no need to worry. You still have the time to catch up. Before starting the process of financial planning, it's important to review the last 10 years of your life to discover where you are in your financial planning. Answer these questions. How will you rate the last 10 years of your financial life? Do you think you could have saved enough over the years? Do you think you should have started investing early? What percentage of your portfolio has met an inflation? What mistake do you think you could have handled better while dealing with your finances? Have you started planning financially for your retirement? After answering these questions, you would have by far discovered where you stand in your financial planning. It's definitely overwhelming to sit down and plan for your financially secure future. But let us go through a simplified process of your financial planning. Financial planning is very much like a roadmap. Let's understand how both could be similar. Like to go for a road trip, you need a car. To start your financial planning journey, you need money. Before going for the trip, you need to get your car perfectly serviced. Similarly, before planning for your financial journey, you need to sort your finances. For a trip, you will need an end destination to arrive at. In financial planning journey, your destination must be to arrive at a financially secure future. Now to help you navigate this part fully of ups and downs, you will need a road map. If you feel you started your financial journey without a road map and got lost, no need to worry because no matter how far you are into the journey, it's always possible to course correct. So in this video, we will go through 6 financial planning tips for your late 30s or early 40s. First tip is handling your savings efficiently. A trip is something that would constantly bombard you with unexpected expenses. Just like how in life you might have to deal with sudden job loss, accident, natural disasters, etc. and leave you with expenses you never anticipated in the first place. As much as it's hard to think about certain situations, we still need to assess if your family would be able to sustain itself financially if you as the breadwinner of the family died. This is why it's more important to have a savings fund you can rely on. First, you need to create a cash flow table to analyze your expenses from your income. The next step is to start saving immediately. Initially, you could invest your savings in fixed income securities to have assured liquidable investments as a way to keep your life rolling under any emergencies. To ease with the process, you can download our investable surplus calculator in which you can analyze your expenses and income to figure out your surplus which you can use to invest. The link for this video is given in the description. Our second tip is to build an emergency fund. Imagine being somewhere on a road trip without an internet connection or eating somewhere where they only accept liquid cash. For emergencies like this, we tend to keep a few loose changes in our pocket. Your emergency fund requires the same function but it needs to be worth more than a few loose changes. Ideally, your emergency fund needs to consist of cash that could cover at least 6 months worth of your expenses. But your emergency fund should not be touched under any circumstance except in a case of emergency. Our third tip is planning for your children's education. Nowadays, it's no longer adequate to be a degree holder. Our children need to have double degrees and various skills to display on their resumes. Even that seems to fail short at times. So saving up for their education, which might be more expensive in the future than in the present, is crucial. Growing up, they might also develop an interest in different natures and express a desire to study abroad. So it's more than necessary that you chart a financial plan that includes saving for your children's future higher education and making sure 
you have made wise investments to back up their choices our fourth tip is risk of property investments many people initially buy out a property somewhere that's worth a huge amount of corpus it's a wise decision if they are going to be living there but due to what their career demands they might be living some place far away the property might be sitting somewhere ideal and even if it gave out a rental income it still isn't a sustainable investment in the long run think about how much money would be spent on maintenance of the property and taxes all for a small rental yield instead if the money was deposited in equity funds the amount of surplus would have doubled in the long run the property might seem a lucrative investment but to understand better if real estate is a good investment or not you can watch our video the link for it is given in the description our fifth tip is to seek the help of a financial planner while planning for a trip we sought the help of a travel consultant to help us book the cheapest flights at the ideal time and also book hotels where they provide complimentary breakfast along with the customer service benefits which we could utilize to our utmost benefit a travel consultant is the best choice to seek help from in the same way an experienced financial planner with his expertise in the field of finance will not only help you save money but will also help you take appropriate decision concerning your financial goals which will help you in the long run a road trip is not about how fast you reach your destination instead it's about how memorable your trip was in the same way a financial planner will help your financial journey to become easier and to go smoothly our sixth and the last step is planning your retirement retirement planning should also come under overall financial planning Imagine coming home after a trip with no resources or a plan to set your life forward. Your retirement planning is to decide what to do after the trip ends. When you start accumulating money for your long-term goals in your late 30s or early 40s, such as for your retirement, you can start to keep a higher equity exposure. Now you might be worried about the certain risk involved in investing a significant portion of your money in stocks, but chill. you will be able to get a higher return than you would be probably getting by investing in fixed income securities equity investments are perfect for long term goals as warren buffett rightly said if you aren't willing to own a stock for 10 years don't even think for owning it for 10 minutes in your sunset years having a well diversified portfolio yielding you better return helps you completely enjoy and relax as you near your retirement age it would be wise to transfer at least 70% of your portfolio to fixed income securities by reducing your equity exposure to 30% as this will help in rolling out a steady income which will also be able to provide you with inflation beating returns at the end of the journey a financially secure future would become a reality being disciplined while sticking to your financial plan along with patiently moving forward with it would yield better results than you can imagine now take some time to reassess your financial plan answer these questions how do you plan to implement your financial goals into becoming a reality do you have any debts how are you going to plan to become debt free how are you planning to save to reach your financial goals how do you want the next 10 years of your financial life to be What is your plan to have an inflation beating return? What is your ideal retirement lifestyle? How do you plan to achieve that? To help you ease your process of financial planning, we are happy to provide you with net worth calculator. You can easily calculate your assets along with adjusting your liabilities to determine your net worth. This will help you in periodically reviewing your net worth, which in turn helps you plan your finances accordingly. The link for this is given in the description. For tailor-made outcomes, it is a wise decision to seek the help of a financial planner who can customize a financial plan according to your financial goals. If you are wondering how to approach a financial planner, Holistic have got you covered. Reach out to us if you think using professional strategies would help you yield great results. register on the link given in the description to avail for our 30 minutes complimentary financial consultation and get your doubts cleared by experienced professionals
We also host regular live webinars on investment and personal finance. To attend our next live webinar, register from the link provided in the description. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel to keep getting updates on more such useful videos. That's it for today. Meet you soon. Bye-bye.